Hello, this is Africa. Welcome back to This is Africa and thank you so much for your continued support and the love that you have shown for this channel. And now let me take you to another development that is a whole new development that are happening in the Nairobi. And guys, before we continue, make sure you subscribe, like and share this video so that you can support my channel and what I do. And now we are going to start from the Haile Selassie Avenue as we are approaching Uhuru Highway. And there you can see the Nairobi Expressway and what I'm going to update to you is these sidewalks that have been created uh, on this area. Remember these sidewalks are going to be connected to the sidewalks that are also going to be created along Haile Selassie Avenue. For now it seems like uh, they have stopped the constructing of the sidewalks. The work that they did start on the Haile Selassie Avenue. All they did was to partition that section but for the sidewalks they have allocated the space for the constructing of these sidewalks but so far the work is like uh, it has stopped for now so let me take you to this section because it's going to be connected so now you can see the Uhuru highway this is the road that is going to accommodate the Nairobi expressway and they have already created these sidewalks remember these sidewalks are very important because when they were constructing the Nairobi expressway they did damage a lot of uh, this section be it uh, the main road which is the road a104 or be it some sidewalks so it is very important if they construct these sidewalks they have also created a zebra crossing which will be used to cross to the other side and that is the from the side of parliament crossing over to the side of uhuru park now this is what i want you to, to notice that these sidewalks are going to be very useful for those people who are going to be using the green park bus terminals which is the bus terminal that we do understand is going to be operational by the end of this month so we are still waiting and this is very important so these sidewalks are going to be useful and plus this zebra crossing and uh, this is something that we have been saying that we need zebra crossing for the safety of this pedestrian and the passengers so and uh, now from uh, there when we go to the other side we will see that uh, the sidewalks are extended all the way to the green park bus terminals now remember there was a road that was created in uhuru park but that road did not include sidewalks so and a lot of people did uh, say that it will be useful if they created uh, sidewalks so what they did is to create a walkway which are going to be in Uhuru Park which are going to lead to the passengers or the pedestrians to the Green Park bus terminals and that is uh, where there is this uh, shade for the passengers to walk to the uh, terminal without being exposed to the sun I think that was the design so the, the other road is only going to be used by the buses or matatus and these are going to be used by the passengers so I think it's very important if uh, we note that there are also other sidewalks that have been created on uh, processional ways remember there are a lot of sidewalks that have been created around Nairobi let's talk about the sidewalks in uh, Haile Selassie Avenue that are currently being created let's talk about the completed sidewalks that were the very first to be constructed and that is uh, on the Kenyatta Avenue from there we had uh, the mid biggest street one and from there remember we have sidewalks on the city hallway so for the people who will be coming from uh, Nairobi CBD or be it from the downtown or the uptown will be using this one remember those who will be using the downtown are going to be experience the longest journey going to this terminal and those who will be working on the uptown will be experience the shortest journey going to this Nairobi Green Park bus terminals so this is the development that I wanted to update you on another thing that uh, they have done as you can see there is a footbridge that has been created to accommodate this walkway remember before there wasn't any walkway on this place but there was just a footpath that was created obviously when people walk along some section uh, naturally a footpath will be created so there was a footpath that was created along that area and people were using just like a block to cross over to the other side which was, was very thin and very unsafe but now we see that uh, this footbridge is going to be very safe so thank you so much guys for your continued support make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video